Hey again, everyone. Welcome to Theology on the Ground. I'm Matthew Kent. This is the daily thought from my quiet time. And today we're going over just a small section of verses from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 10 through, call it 12. So here we go. He just got done in basically the, the introduction to his letter, um, talking a lot about well, one of the most important topics in the Christian faith, and that is salvation. And so in verse 10, we pick it up. He says, concerning this salvation, the prophets, so think guys like Isaiah, Jeremiah, those kind of guys, uh, who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours, searched and inquired carefully, inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ within them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. So in other words, in Isaiah 53, where Isaiah basically lays out a prophecy concerning Jesus, concerning his death, his crucifixion, um, Peter is now looking back on that and saying, he was searching inquiry carefully uh, what time the, the spirit of Christ within him um, was indicating as he was predicting the sufferings of Christ. So in other words, Jesus is not just a man who, you know, was anointed by God. Jesus is the incarnate second person of the Trinity that was active even before his incarnation, right? That it wasn't just the that, that people were predicting the Messiah coming, predicting the Christ, predicting the anointed one. Um, that really it was Jesus, it was God the Son, the second person of the Trinity, it was the spirit of him within them um, that was then doing this and engaging in this prophecy. And so there's a, a divine leading of the whole process of revelation. Um, and so we don't believe that this is just a book, whether we're talking about the Old Testament or the New Testament, we believe that these are the, the words of God and so the, the fancy word for the doctrine, you have verbal plenary inspiration, um, that the very words of Scripture are inspired. You think of verses like 2 Timothy 3, um, 16 through 17, where all Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable uh, for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction, and righteousness. So as Christians, yeah, we are all about that. Um, in the subsequent glories, it was revealed to them that they were not serving, um, that they were serving not themselves, but you. And the things that have now been announced to you, to those who preach the good news to you, or gospel, good news, gospel, same thing, by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. So, you know, in John's gospel, he talks about a, a new helper's coming, the Holy Spirit, that he's going to leave for a while. And then, of course, Jesus is going to return. But right now, we are comforted by a comforter, by a new helper. God the Holy Spirit, and as the Spirit of Christ was at work before um, making, leading this revelation and making sure that uh, essentially the, the good news was spread through prophecy uh, concerning Jesus. Now that Jesus has come, the witness to Jesus looking back uh, is directed by God the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. Uh, by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven things in which the angels long to look. It is amazing to me that there is a whole host in heaven, uh, messengers, angels created by God. And so in one sense, you know, higher than we are, uh, presumably they're not sinning or anything like that. But in some senses, God sort of keeps them in the dark, keeps them in suspense. I don't know why, maybe just so they can marvel at his work, marvel at him unfolding his plan of redemption and so um <laughs> it's just a funny indication there that you know hey the the prophets in the old testament were prophesying with the spirit of christ about jesus and about the salvation that was to come to you and that you know now the gospel message has been preached to you uh by the the power of the holy spirit and these are things in which the angels long to look like there's some extent to which the angels are still um looking into things and inquiring just like the prophets of old were like wow god did things that way wow god is carrying out his plan this way um and so it's just an amazing thing so that was a, a section of just three verses 
um, chock full of goodness. When I read over it, I'm like, yeah, I got to go over that one in a video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful to you. And Lord willing, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.